everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome to Lula Falls. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be touring a hidden waterfall. So as we mentioned in the beginning, we're here at Lula Lake and we're currently heading down the main trail that leads down to where the waterfalls are. So we discovered this hidden waterfall on Facebook and apparently it's like a privately owned waterfall. So there's a limited number of tickets available and when we went to go book tickets, it was completely sold out for like a month, a month and a half. So we were, you know, thinking we weren't going to be able to make it here. But luckily enough, we were able to book something about a month out and we just had to fingers crossed that the weather was going to be good enough and thankfully it is. So this is a 120 foot tall waterfall. So it's definitely something to see. So this was also known as the Niagara Falls of Georgia. So it's about an hour long hike and it seems to be pretty easy so far. So we'll keep you updated along the way. So let's do this. We just exited off one of the side trails, but as you can see, it doesn't quite connect to anything. It just kind of brings you down here to where the river runs. This area is made up of all different types of trails that you can take, side trails and then the main trail, and we'll insert a photo of the map that they email you once you secure your reservation. Now, Lula Falls is about 30 minutes away from Chattanooga, Tennessee, but it's situated right near Lookout Mountain, Georgia. Okay, so it's pretty hot out. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today, um, so we're definitely trying to keep up on our water. Woo. And we are just so anxious to get there and cool off at the falls. But you will have to bring, obviously, snacks, your own water, because it does take a few hours to go through the hike and back. So make sure you come prepared, plenty of water and snacks and food. And plenty of sunscreen, because it's not all shaded. And bug spray won't be a bad idea either. <laughs> So as we were walking along this trail here, we were very, very thankful that there are a decent amount of porta potties and restrooms along the way. So the hike so far has been pretty decent. Um, we've gone on the Nature Loop Trail, which takes you along the river. And as you can tell, it's a pretty nicely paved path. But what's nice is with these limited tickets, there's not really anyone, we haven't seen actually anyone for like 20 minutes just walking these trails. So that's the benefit. Although it can be frustrating that you're unable to get a ticket, but it definitely is worth the price not having to bump into everyone. So we made it to the lower falls. And along the main trail, you eventually come to an area with picnic benches, and you do have to descend a pretty steep trail to get down here, mm -hmm. but obviously the view is absolutely worth it. So Lula Lake is a 8,000 acre watershed located just off of Lookout Mountain. And the main trail to get to the falls is about four miles long. So this isn't quite the main falls yet, this is just the lower falls, but the more impressive falls is still to come a little bit further down the main trail. Now the Lula Lake Land Trust was established by Robert Davenport when he died in 1994 and they are still dedicated to conserving this area, which is why they require you to pay a $15 per car fee when you visit this area. And it also goes to help maintain the area and keep up with the maintenance of keeping this place beautiful. Now, even though behind us we have a pretty awesome, inviting looking lake, they do have signs here that you're not allowed to swim in this particular area, although there are certain parts of the park where you will be able to wade in certain water and we'll be sure to show you uh, when we find them. The trail that we were on was very, very easy. However, the Lula Falls Trail, which takes you down to the base of the falls, which is where we're at right now, 
isn't necessarily the most accessible because it's very, very steep and rocky, but you can still get a view from the very, very top, but it's not as impressive as this. So just keep that in mind that you gotta wear the proper footwear and do not rush and just take your time when coming down to the base of the falls. So now if you all wanna see more videos like this, just click that subscribe button right below and hit that bell notification to get notified about future videos like this. So now I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hot. So we're gonna go to the falls and cool off. Okay, so we're back now from that hike and we are exhausted. <laughs> My gosh, it was an amazing sight to see. I mean, the waterfall itself is 120 feet tall and it's really nice because especially being so hot, we got to cool off and that's what we were looking forward to most of the time. Now once we were there, we were fortunate enough to sit down and enjoy a nice lunch while getting a nice breeze. So overall, it's a very unique and cool experience to do and despite it being about a 45 minute hike there, by far worth it in the end. I really enjoyed the hike as well. Of course, it is pretty advanced. If you do plan to get down to the bottom and the base of the waterfall, it does take a lot out of you. It was a really amazing experience and a really unique, fun thing to do if you're visiting this part of the States. And you can definitely pair it up because Lookout Mountain as well as Ruby Falls are just a couple miles away. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and give us your support and hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get notified about our future videos. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in next week's video.